whosoever, be he worthy, you shall have the power. Whatever, man. It, it's a trick. Oh, it is much more than that, my friend. <laughs> if I lift it, do I get to rule Asgard? Yes, of course. I will be fair, but firmly cruel. <clears throat> be right back. Are you even pulling? Are you on my team? Just represent, pull. All right, let's go. Come on, Cap. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, no, no, that's not a question I need answered. The handle's imprinted. Whosoever is carrying Thor's fingerprints is, I think, the literal translation. Yes, well, that's a very interesting theory. I have a simpler one. You're all not worthy. Oh. <laughs> How could you be worthy? You're all puppets tangled in strings. Strings. Mind blown, you guys. Mind oh, blown. I left the theater last night and I kind of had to sit there for a few minutes while eating Pinkberry naturally to just process. Tell me about shooting this film. You know, it's so funny you're saying that though because I had the same reaction and I think a lot of us had the same reaction. <laughs> When we were at Comic Con last year and we saw that teaser, I mean, it really yeah. was. Like what? That was astounding. Yeah, we, and and all of us. I looked along the row of actors, and everybody, including Sam, was like, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> and that was only a little teeny piece, right. not even the big things. Right. Yeah, and this is like very long and just constant. Brain. This is not one of those. Yes, it's not an action film that you can just kind of mindlessly like oh yes my popcorn candy this is gotta listen paying attention but still having your mind blown for mm, two and yes. a half hours i think that's ultimately ultron's job in this film right is Interesting. pay attention he actually mm -hmm. says that i think a couple of times i think he does <laughs> he is a smart alec and i love i don't think there could have been better voice casting thank you tell me a little is he just iron man's alter ego or is he his whole new I think he thing. starts as that. I mean, I think that was originally, you know, he he, he, he certainly represented a, an intention of Tony's and and Bruce Manners, but mm -hmm. um, and he ter evolves, he evolves into a very different thing. He evolves, which <laughs> is kind of awesome. Now, I, I watch these Marvel films, and they're very... Shakespearean almost you kind of it's we've got the war and peace and the good and evil and all of that are they just action movies or they're truly do you watch it and you kind of say well there's some certain there's some real life application here right. or is it pure entertainment well, I think well Shakespeare was entertainment true and it also dealt things. with you know it dealt with life and death and mm. love and loss and and comedy and tragedy and you know mm. all the rest of it and just did it very very well and mm -hmm. represented the best of you know pop entertainment at the time um marvel's doing the same thing mm -hmm. but it's just very different you know it just reflects a different society and culture and it's true and, and it's uh, certainly a reflection of our you kind of watch it and you're like Ugh, this is kind of how we are this, as humanity you know i love the theme of peace but at what cost and I think Ultron kind of thinks he's doing the right thing, but then you have Vision come and say, well, I'm just on the side of life. Can you just speak to that a little bit? I think there's a theme uh, emerging in the movies that the more you uh, defend yourself, the more something will rise up to challenge your defenses, mm -hmm. which That's I think is really interesting mm -hmm. when you look at our world. And how we all operate. Yeah. Indeed. Okay, so I just need to know <laughs> makeup for yeah. you. Tell me about that process, besides the fabulous glowing thing in the middle of your head. <sighs> the process was very, you know, it was it was uh, uh, unstressful in that it was so. It was short and sweet, job. wasn't it? It was t t two minutes. Yeah, tell me, tell me hours. But it wasn't the, the, the putting it on. Mm hmm was not the problem the staying in it was the problem because after after you know after about 10 hours of not really being able to hear anybody and only having this much of your skin 
on your whole body open to to the air you really really get a little well, you also can't sit down and relax either. can't really sit down and relax and you have a you have a, a cooling suit underneath the suit which is which has got like a radiator with ice cold water going through what and then uh, and so you're attached to this thing that's pumping this water <laughs> and you just find yourself sitting down and reading a lot and getting into a very very zen state because you do feel a bit punchy. And I was gonna I've say. never shouted on set ever oh, no. in my career, and I'm not going to. You know, so, but, and you just have to imagine the line of actors behind you that would love to be in your job right now. Be inside know. of the suit with the water Absolutely. running through it and all that. And things. getting paid money. So, yes, I felt, I felt myself, I, I felt very lucky, but it, well, I would be lying if I said it wasn't really uncomfortable. Well, punchy is okay. I'm impressed that punchy is the extent punchy. of...